Hey guys, welcome back to Twin Flicks, film channel for film lovers like yourself. I'm Paul, and uh, if you guys are new to this channel, we do detailed, honest Blu-ray reviews to new Blu-rays coming out, and also some reissued Blu-rays uh, that have been restored from places like Aero Video. I also do reviews for Mill Creek Entertainment, uh, Warner Brothers, sometimes we get some stuff from Paramount, 20th Century Fox, and some other places. Uh, so if you're new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and support physical media and also join the twin flicks family well guys our friends over at aero video sent us a nice little three disc box set the three film collection of jose loraz we have whirlpool the coming of sin and his most popular vampires divine isn't she what did happen to Rhonda? Who are you? Where the hell do you come from? Now guys, this video is going to be a little bit longer than my usual videos because I'm going to be breaking down each individual Blu-ray and let you guys know on the video quality. But first, here are some Blu-ray specs. All three films are sourced from the original 35mm print with a brand new 4K scan restoration and an HD 1080p transfer with a restored PCM 1.0 mono audio track, and it also maintains the original aspect ratio of 1.66 to 1, and the other two films in 1.85 to 1 ratio, meaning the video will fill your entire screen. All right guys, so to kick things off, I'm going to be reviewing our first Blu-ray, and that is Whirlpool. Beware this house. Beware this swamp. Beware the Whirlpool. It has all the ingredients of a Hitchcock thriller. Plus... First off, guys, Arrow Video always does such a great job, especially with these lower budget cult movies, and this is absolutely no exception. The color palette looks fantastic with nicely vivid reds and blues that pop. It also has a solid detail and textural levels, and they maintain during even some of the more red-drenched darkroom scenes. Considering the age of the film stock, I was concerned about how much grain would show up, especially during low-light scenes or night scenes. And honestly, grain is rather heavy throughout these scenes. As for the rest of the film, there is some light grain, but overall the grain levels feel, feels more like I'm watching a 35 millimeter print then a blu-ray which actually brought some charm to the film black levels are generally solid but i did notice some minor flickering in the edges of the frame skin tones do look nice and natural overall guys the 1080p and 4k restoration does help give this 40 plus year old movie a big boost and i was very happy with the overall presentation and the improved video transfer all right guys well now let's get into the audio quality Whirlpool, as I said, features a PCM 1.0 mono audio track. Now, I was very surprised by this one, as generally mono tracks are very confined and they don't really have enough depth or power. This one, however, provides support for ambient sound effects very nicely. Dialogue sounds great, too. It's clean and clear, very easy to understand throughout. While it's not a robust surround or even a stereo heavy mix, the mono mix is very efficient and gets the job done. I didn't notice anything in the way of audio dropouts or distortion, and the dialogue, sound effects, music are well balanced and one never overpowers the other. It's a great mono mix. All right guys, now let's get into the extras, and there's quite a few. It includes an audio commentary from Tim Lucas, it includes the early films of Jose Lorez, which runs 24 minutes, an interview with the actor Larry Dan, which runs 10 minutes, a featurette showcasing the different versions of the film, which runs 27 minutes, 
1972 BBC interview with Vivian Nives, the actress, which runs 13 minutes. A 1972 interview with director Jose Larraz, which runs about five minutes. It also includes the theatrical trailers, and it includes a reversible sleeve with artwork specifically made for this Arrow release and a booklet. All right, guys, so now we're going to talk about vampires, the Blu-ray quality. Now, first, I will say you have to take into consideration it's a low-budget, mid-70s, any yellow movie. Because of this, it never had a high quality film stock and they could only afford bare minimum during production when it comes to the video quality, giving it a, a really dull color palette with heavy grain. So now how does Arrow's transfer look? I have to say guys, it looks exceptional. The image is clear and the color palette is boosted with some good contrast and saturation levels. Again, because of the type of production value, this has uh, it's not going to be an eye-popping, bright, deep color palette, but it's not bad at all. And it looks very natural and nicely balanced. Black levels are fairly solid, but it does have some heavy grain and age throughout. Skin tones look nice and natural and detail. Textural and detail levels are excellent. I did notice, however, that some uh, parts looked a little out of focus and kind of hazy in the frame. Again, considering the budget constraints, this is an overall very healthy, natural looking video transfer I was more than happy with. It looks fantastic. As for the audio, Aero presents the Blu-ray with a PCM 1.0 mono audio mix. Being a mono audio track and with the budget constraints, I was very concerned how the audio would perform sound wise and overall I was quite happy with it. I found no damage or audio dropouts with the transfer. Dialogue sounds very clear as well and easy to understand. The score, the music sounds fantastic and sound effects are also very effective. It has some depth to it. Now it is a confined mono audio mix, but it sounds great. And again, I was very happy with it. As for the extras, Vampires includes an audio commentary with Kit Ellinger, a cast and crew interviews that all together run about an hour and 30 minutes and they're separated by different sections. These are fantastic in-depth interviews from the producer to actors to makeup artists down to the composer. It also has a nice interview with a collaborator of Jose Loraz who also directed the 2015 remake of Vampires and it talks about the re-imaging of Vampires. It also includes an archival interview with director Jose Larraz, which runs about 15 minutes. A 1997 Q&A with Jose Larraz, which runs 10 minutes. It also includes the trailers and reversible sleeve with artwork specifically made for the Arrow video release and a booklet. All right, guys, our next Blu-ray review is for The Coming of Sin. The video, The Coming of Sin, comes with both the Spanish version and an English version. Now, both versions do have the same runtime, and both do also offer the same video transfer. So, I'm not going to go in between the both, because they, honestly, they both look identical. Uh, guys, the biggest problem was, was when the feature started. I was absolutely floored by how heavy and how awful the grain was. Here's a quick shot that I took with my phone. I wasn't able to get a screenshot from the Blu-ray. Yeah, that looks awful. But after the first couple of minutes, I was shocked at actually how great it turned out to look. I'm not sure what happened at the beginning of the film, but the heavy grain was very jarring at first, thinking this was gonna be an awful Blu-ray. But I was totally wrong. Again, after the first few minutes of the, tra of the tr titles, it looks fantastic. Another minor issue I found was with skin tones. They look a little too reddish at times and also has a little lack of clarity through the film, which I think is on purpose though, because there's like this white kind of glow texture to the color palette, giving it kind of a dreamlike atmosphere that honestly, to me, became a little distracting. Other than that, the color palette looks good. It's bright with whites and other colors. They look very defined. Of course, the help with the 4K scan really boosts the colors, especially with colors like pinks and reds and yellows. It also has some fine detail and textural levels with exteriors and interiors. The transfer does show its age as far as grain and the dreamlike glow that I talked about earlier. I do think Whirlpool and Vampires does look better but I was overly, overall satisfied with the video transfer. All right guys, so let's get into the audio. 
Now both versions are in a DTS HD 1.0 mono audio mix and both mixes sound identical. Dialogue sounds fantastic, very clear and crisp, as does the music and sound effects. There is a scene where a girl is walking through the, a cornfield and it sounds very nice with the ambient sound effects. Other sound effects like cars, doors opening, closing, and eerie sound effects as well all sound very nice and defined. The dialogue, music, and sound effects are very effective and none overpowers the other. I also didn't notice anything in the way of age of audio dropouts or distortion. This is a very healthy, nice sounding transfer. All right guys, how about those extras? Well, it includes an audio commentary, a featurette on alternate versions of the film, which went six minutes. An interview about the career of Jose Larraz called Memories of Larraz, which runs about 40 minutes. It includes a short film, His Last Request, which runs 28 minutes. An archival interview with Jose Larraz, which runs five minutes. And of course, the theatrical trailers. And just like the other two Blu-rays, it also includes a reversible sleeve with artwork specifically tailored for this blu-ray release from arrow video and a booklet all right guys so now let's get those blu-ray scores and this is the score for the entire blu-ray set itself not for the individual uh, blu-rays so for the set itself i'm going to give the video a 3.5 out of a 5 the audio a 4 out of a 5 extras a 5 out of a 5 Overall Blu-ray set score of 4 out of a 5. As for the movies themselves, I'm going to give each one between a 3.5 and a 4 out of a 5. Alright guys, well that's our review for Blood Hunger, the three film box set from Arrow Video of Jose Larraz's film collection of Whirlpool, Vampires, and The Coming of Sin. Guys, this is a fantastic box set. It includes all the stuff you see here. I I'd highly recommend getting this. Considering the restraints they had while making this film, Arrow Video did the best they could, and you can tell they poured a lot of time and energy and their heart into remastering and restoring these, uh, each one of these Blu-rays to a high quality as best as they could with a 4K restoration. Blood Hunger, the three film collection of Jose Larraz, is now available as a Blu-ray box set from Arrow Video and ranges about $50 to $65, depending where you pick it up. Or you can hit the link down below in the description, order it there. All right, guys, well, I want to thank Arrow Video for sending us this gorgeous set. And of course, guys, I want to thank all of you guys out there for supporting our little channel here, for subscribing, watching, viewing, commenting. Hit your comments down below. I want to know if you guys have seen these movies from Jose Larraz and what your favorite one is. And if you guys plan on picking up these Blu-rays. Let me know down below. And stay tuned for some more Blu-ray reviews we have coming up we're excited about. And also some other videos that I have that I'm working on. An Avengers Endgame First Reaction review is coming. And spoiler free. And some other videos that I have that I've been working on over the past year that I'm excited to share with you guys. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Once again, thank you, Arrow Video, for sending us these Blu-rays, and I'll see you in the future.